Rick. Oh, child support. Why are you so dirty? That dirty, dirty Sanchez. Ooh, what is up, YouTube, and welcome to another Cribs Out Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. I finally got a posting schedule. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday! <laughs> This video will be extremely helpful for anybody wondering on what cameras I use and all of KZE's camera work. There are only three recording devices that I use. Stay the fruit. Oh my gosh, the fruit. I primarily, oh my. I primarily film with this GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition. Now this thing is extremely useful for any fast action footage, such as skateboarding with crypto, things like that, where there's a lot of movement in the camera. This thing will be able to film and have much smoother footage. This is my primary recording utensil, the GoPro Hero 5. One problem I do have with this, it occasionally stops recording, as well as you need a GoPro mic adapter in order to plug in an external mic. It's a $50 mic adapter, so that could be pretty annoying. Those are the only two complaints I have. Other than that, this thing is extremely perfect. You can do interviews with this. You can pretty much use this to film any type of footage. There will be sample videos of all three cameras I use just to make things a little bit easier for you guys to decide. The camera that I'm currently filming on is a DSLR Canon 70D with the stock lens. This is the stock lens which is 18 by 55 millimeters. All that is is this here is 18 millimeters which is all the way zoomed out and when you zoom in it turns into 55 millimeters. That's all the way zoomed in. This is the stock lens that the camera comes with. I do not film with the stock lens. If your camera will be stationary, set put, of course a DSLR camera will most definitely be the best option for you if you're trying to get that professional cinematic look. A DSLR is a must. A big factor to that is the fact that you can exchange lenses. This here is a wide angle lens, 10 by 18 millimeter wide angle lens. This is what I normally film with when I'm filming with a DSLR. This lens by itself is around $300. There is a huge price difference between all these cameras. The DSLR will always be the most expensive setup. I also have an external Rode microphone attached to this. That mic is the Rode Go. Pretty nice mic, it's just a plug and play, and no batteries required. That mic is known as the shotgun microphone. A DSLR I would recommend for anybody, like I said, that's stationary, that's gonna have the camera set up, propped up, not moving too much, not trying to get a lot of fast moving shots. But the DSLR will always have the most crisp footage. Just look at the detail. This is my phone, the Galaxy S9. Not much different from the Galaxy S8. They just moved the fingerprint sensor, and on the S9 Plus, they added a secondary camera. This camera is pretty sharp. I do film random footage with this camera, but this camera is extremely nice. This is a really nice camera. The fact that it's on the phone makes this the most convenient recording device. Even though, like I said, my primary recording device device is the GoPro. We switched over to the wide angle lens, the 10 by 18 millimeter. This is the normal angle. It's capable of 18 millimeters. And if I zoom all the way out, this is the widest angle. A huge up on the GoPro is, of course, the fact that you're able to mount this on things such as your chest, your head. You could pretty much mount this anywhere, even your wrist. A huge up on this camera is the fact that it actually has a mode called Super View, it makes the field of view much wider. The biggest reason why you would choose a GoPro over DSLR is one, you don't want to hold the camera, and two, for the extremely Super View. If you already have a phone and do not have the money to purchase any other camera, your phone is a perfect video producer. Oh, you're so beautiful. Jeez. Mm. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Can I put the GoPro on your face? Please, please, no, no, GoPro on my face. No, GoPro on my face. The following footage includes raw GoPro audio and video.
The GoPro Hero 5. KZE, why do you own three cameras? For anybody interested in wide angle lenses, I hope this video is helpful. If you guys are indecisive on whether you want an action camera, if your camera is going to be moving left and right a lot, the GoPro is going to be the most effective camera out of the three. The current mode we're on is on wide. The GoPro also has the best mounting options. You could use the GoPro for stationary videos as well, but since this camera isn't extremely well at focusing on specific items, this isn't the best camera if you're trying to get someone's attention on something. So just take that in mind. This is the raw audio on the GoPro. It's not tremendously bad. I have used raw audio on videos before. When you touch the camera, since the camera is so small and compact, you can really hear the noise it makes when you touch the camera is just a little bit raw audio on the GoPro is almost unbearable being the smallest out of the three this thing is just ready to grab and film with one simple button you're filming the GoPro has always been my most used camera as far as the price on the GoPro $400 mounts such as the chest strap head strap are sold separately I would recommend the GoPro for anybody interested in fast moving footage that's what these cameras are meant for they're action cameras the next camera the DSLR the following footage was filmed on a Canon 70D using a wide angle lens and a Rode Mic Go. This is a little size comparison with the Galaxy S9. This is the most expensive out of the three. Footage of a DSLR is extremely beautiful when you're holding it still. If the camera's moved around, it could affect the video footage. Since it has a bunch of interchangeable lenses, you can for sure get the most crisp footage out of a DSLR camera. DSLRs ensure the best control for both settings and focus. I can be focused on any part of the screen so if you want the most control a DSLR is for sure is the best camera if you're trying to go for the professional look a DSLR is for sure is the most professional looking camera out of the three some complaints I would have about the DSLR would have to be one the size it can get pretty heavy if you have a tripod on it and as well as a microphone this thing could be a pretty good workout so the size is a pretty big drawback in my opinion the other thing would have to be the price range the Galaxy S9 was around $800, but you have to take into account that this DSLR is just a camera and only a camera. Lastly, the phone. Lastly, the phone. The following footage was filmed on a Samsung Galaxy S9 with a wide angle lens, which was slightly misplaced, hence the blur. Of course, a phone is always right next to you, so the phone is gonna be the most portable. I've always said in all my videos that if you have nothing else to record with, just use your phone. The phone by itself, it doesn't capture a lot. This wide angle actually does provide much more of the scenery probably my biggest concern when you're recording with the phone you rely on this thing a lot so if you do break your phone you're not only gonna lose your camera but you're gonna lose a lot of other things that might be enough reason for you to grab another camera that's gonna go ahead and be it just a little quick comparison on the three cameras I use these are the only cameras that I've ever used besides the face reveal when I use the webcam if you have one option to buy one of these cameras, which one would I recommend? I'm gonna have to go ahead and say that the GoPro is the best camera option. We had some new questions, so let's go ahead and answer the question. Thank you for submitting all of your questions, and if you would like to submit a question, go ahead and hashtag it, hashtag Q&A. Someone asked, how is that safe to have your dog pull you on a skateboard on like going 5 to 15 miles per hour? I've been riding motorcycles for years. My instincts are extremely strong. <laughs> the fruit, what the hell, the fruit? You just gotta be extremely careful, man. Just know the roads that you're taking. As long as you have enough time to stop, you should be good. How much does the rat weigh? Last time I weighed the rat, he weighed 3 pounds. Will you get another dog in the near future? No, there's no plans on me getting another dog. KZE, can my dog be Crypto's baby mama? If the money's right, of course. I would just need a stud fee. Can you take the rat out on a fancy outfit? The rat has a huge problem since he's an indoor dog. He does have a huge problem with his nails. Look forward to a nail review product. Any tips for beginning to ride a longboard? 
just be prepared to jump off your board honestly be prepared to jump off and be able to stop my dog's completely scared of long boards how do i get them accustomed to it let your dog understand that the skateboard is a much faster way to exercise them so just try riding around them let them see you using it there are some dogs that just completely hate skateboard how long have you been skating and how old were you when you started i've been skating since freshman year in high school so i was probably 15 years old do you play fetch with crypto this dog does fetch things but he keeps it do you like alaskan clee kais it looks like a smaller thinner version of a husky kz how do you figure out your gender of a cockatiel male cockatiels have much brighter cheeks male cockatiels are known to sing more females will have spots under their tails we're all caught up on the q a so thank you guys for submitting the questions we got a couple things coming in the mail a nail trimmer a doorbell camera as well as an indoor camera Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.